This is Geo40. Please pray with me as we begin Geo40. Lord Jesus, thank you for providing rivers to the people of the world for our lives and for commanding us and giving us the gift of baptism in which we need water. And wherever human life is, you're going to find water. In Jesus' name, amen. Physical geography rivers in Asia. So the Ganges River flows through India and Bangladesh. It's the third a largest river in the world in terms of the water discharged, the water that it, it courses through. It's considered sacred to uh, the Hindu worshipers. Millions do rely on it for daily needs, and I believe that God provided it for those people. Pollution is an issue. The Arabian Peninsula, um, we're going to talk about peninsulas in the Southwest Asia or the Middle East, is considered the world's largest peninsula. Depends kind of how you look at peninsula versus continent, but this is considered the world's largest peninsula. Plateaus, the Tibetan plateau, you can see it from space in East Central Asia, has an average elevation of almost 15,000 feet. It's the world's highest and largest plateau, sometimes called the roof of the world. Oh, look at those beautiful mountains that God made. The Himalaya mountains in South Asia are the home to the tallest mountains. Many peaks are considered sacred. I think they point to our creator God. Mount Everest is the highest in the world um, at 29,000. Now it's the highest within a range. The highest freestanding is Kilimanjaro. Everest is located on the border of Gobi Desert is the largest desert in Asia. It is located in Northern China and Southern Mongolia. Southwest Asia or the Middle East is home to some of the world's earliest civilizations, particularly Iraq, uh, which was Mesopotamia widely considered to be the cradle of civilization. Mesopotamia was home to the Assyrian, Babylonian, and Sumerian civilizations, and many more, and we'll learn about those next year, 10th grade in world history. The central region has long been inhabited by horse-mounted nomads, um, Mongol warriors. The northern part of Asia remains sparsely populated due to the cold climate and dense forests. I'm going quickly, pause it, write the notes, keep going. There are natural barriers in Asia, the Himalaya and Cauc uh, Caucasus Mountains, the Karakum and Gobi Deserts. They keep civilizations separate and they have their kind of separate languages and customs. 600 AD, 600 years after the birth of Christ, about 570 years after the resurrection of Christ, the Islamic Caliphate conquered the Middle East and Central Asia. 1200s AD, the Mongol Empire led by Genghis Khan conquered a large part of Asia, um, extending from China to Europe, their empire. The Mongol Empire became one of the largest empires in world history. Again, if I'm going too fast, pause it, write it down, keep going. The Black Death was a pandemic, a pandemic of the 1300s thought to have started in Central Asia and spread throughout Europe and Asia via trade routes such as the Silk Road. You see the Silk Road primarily in red there. The pandemic is believed to have killed about one third of the population in the Middle East region. In the 1500s AD, the Ottoman Empire controlled the Anatolian Peninsula, that's Turkey, and the Middle East region. Uh, also in the 1500s AD, the Islamic Mughal Empire controlled much of present day India. It was one of the gunpowder empires, which ruled by military force. In the 1600s AD, the Mughal em emperor Shah Jahan commissioned the construction of the Taj Mahal, a very famous building in India to show his strength and to honor his passed away wife. In the 1600s AD, the Manchu conquered China and established the Qing dynasty. In the 1600s AD, the Russian empire began to expand into Asia. By the 1800s AD, Russia had taken control of most of Central Asia and all of Siberia. Asia has uh, great extremes in forms of government. Most Asian countries have some form of democracy, but there is communism as well. India is the world's largest democracy, technical democracy in terms of population. Level of democracy varies by country. Many countries are considered full. Other countries are democratic in name, but have issues with corruption. Afghanistan, Iran, Russia. Uh, considered full democracies, India, Japan, South Korea, and